Hi there, we're back with Seb now, who's just come in from his first race of the day here at uh, the SMRC Formula 4 Championship. Seb, how was the race for you? It wasn't, so, it wasn't too bad. I, I really do like the wet. Um, I feel like I'm more consistent in the wet than the competitors. Um, and that proved to be in the, first, you know, in the first half of the race, I was quickest out on track. But unfortunately, I just couldn't do anything with that, with that pace. I was just stuck in the same position as I was in. So it was quite an easy race, though. It was, it was quite smooth. I think at this point in the championship, it's about, again, it was quite a safe race, wasn't it? And you brought the car back in one piece. And uh, So tell me about earlier on the year, about some of the races you've had, because you've had, you've had some ups and downs, but I mean, generally it's been really good in building on uh, the last few years, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been good. In the start of the season, I think that's really what set me the platform of being so high up in the championship. I mean, at one point I was leading the championship, and now, unfortunately, I've, I've dropped down to second with the lows, like you've, like you've said. But yeah, I've won a couple of races. I've pretty much I've been pretty consistent on the podiums but now there was a a slight change that we made which I felt didn't benefit me mm -hmm. but now we've, we've changed back to what we had before and I'm starting to find my feet again uh, and I think part of that was my confidence that, that lacked so now that I've got my confidence back I, I feel I feel happy now. And I guess this is your local circuit, so you'll know the circuit pretty well, which will give you some advantage. Uh, get, but having said that, a lot of the guys up here are racing from Scotland anyhow, but how's it been down south, mixing with some of the, the English guys racing down there and some of the other circuits? Yeah, well, learning the new circuits, that's pretty much been a tactic for next season to see what, I'm, you know, if I move up, it will be in Britain. So mm. that's been good testing for me, and I've shown really good pace at those new tracks. Um, and again, you know, racing against the British guys, they're quick, so... Mm. I've proven that I am fast enough to be competitive at, at those tracks. Okay, so this is part of your journey. Um, what does the future look like? Where do you want to end up? Where do you see yourself being? Well, my dream is IndyCar, but right. budget for single-seaters I feel is just so high now. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe more realistic, would, I would maybe say GTs. Le Mans is probably one of the most well-known GT races. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd like to see myself there in a couple of years' time. We'll see. But racing is not only in your blood, but it's part of your wider family and, and say, your, your godfather and Mario and etc. I mean, it's very much part of the world you've grown up in as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and they've been a big influence for me as well. Um, you know, a lot of it's come from sponsors, my dad, who's helped me out a lot, obviously Edinburgh Watch Company. If it wasn't for all you guys, then I wouldn't be able to do this in the first place. Mm -hmm. But my first love from the sport came from you know, my godfather Dario and Marino and stuff, that, that's where I found the love for it. It's a quite an inspiration, I'm sure. So if you look forward to typically a journey that a racing driver like yourself at your age would take, so once you've done Formula, Far Formula Ford as you're doing just now, you talked about IndyCar as a possibility, but what's the sort of stages that guys would normally follow through that? Well, I mean, recently I was accepted onto the MSA Academy, which okay. is like a almost like a school for young drivers um, who have shown talent recently so in one of those classes what we had to do was write up a five-year plan and almost like Mark Webber's five-year plan have you, mm -hmm. have you ever seen that? I haven't but yeah, there yeah. he is. Well it starts off obviously it starts off where you are right now so Formula Ford and then logical steps would be either GT4 uh, or go to America and do USF or um, maybe stay in Britain and do F4 it could be anything like that, maybe LMP3 as well. Um, and from there, you, you almost branch off to, you know, if I was to take a single-seater route in America, do USF, Pro Mazda, Indy Lights, and then IndyCar. Okay. Uh, and if I was to stay in Britain, maybe doing GT, GT4, GT3, uh, work your way into GT3s for a couple of years, and then um, maybe make like a, diag a diagonal step to either Indy Lights or straight up to IndyCar. Uh, and that's sort of the route you can take. And thankfully, with the Scottish, um, with the Scottish Championship, they've got the Road to Indy shootout, which is if you win the championship, you go to America and you do a shootout, and if you're successful there, uh, you're on the ladder then to, to the Road to Indy car, basically. Brilliant. So while this year is great, I mean, you're sitting second in the championship just now, and to finish second in itself is really good, although I guess as a racer, there's always, you want to be first. But looking back last year, I mean, you won some great trophies last year. You, know, you won the David Leslie Trophy. That's part of this year, wasn't it? That was this year, but yeah. last year, you've won some great uh, championships. Last year, I won the uh, Young Driver of the Year yeah. for single-seaters, which was, that was a big surprise. I wasn't expecting that one. Um, I think only Graham knew from the team that I was going to get that prize. Uh, and I was third in the championship last season, um, 
And this season, I've won the David Leslie Trophy. Uh, I've won another race. It wasn't a trophy race, but still, still good mm -hmm. to win. Um, but I feel this season's been a lot more competitive mm -hmm. than last season. Last season there was a couple quick drivers, and that was it. But now you've got, you know, your top five drivers are in and winning it. Like okay. it, was, it was, you know, shown today. Jordan won it. You know, Ross second. Uh, Kenneth Kelly third as well. So. Great. So you mentioned earlier you love the wet, don't you? So you're looking for it to team down this afternoon, aren't you? As well, we're all trying to stay dry, but you want the wet, don't you? Yeah, I do. I'm really comfortable in the wet. I'm not sure why that is. I think it's because when I first ever when I first got in a race car, yeah. it was really wet. So I'm, I guess. Yeah, I think I've got an advantage. So it sounds like you need to stay racing in Scotland if you like that weather, then. Uh, I'd prefer not to <laughs> stay racing Scotland, but we'll see. Okay, so moving forward to this afternoon. So there's another Formula Ford race this afternoon. Um, again, where are you going to be on? Where are you going to be on the grid for that race? Uh, start fourth on the grid for that race. Okay. Yeah, and I'd like to obviously show the same pace as I had, um, but this time make up some some places. Maybe Great. get the front front row. We'll see. Fantastic. So that's one more race uh, today, and then you have one more race for the end of this championship here in Scotland, don't you? Yeah, one more race weekend here. Mm. Yeah. And then you're heading down, also down, down south, you've got yeah, a couple yeah. more races down there, part of the British, is it? Yeah, part of the British. Uh, there's one more round of the British at Anglesey, uh, and then Brands Hatch and Silverstone for the festival in the Wilbur Hayes. And right. I, I love I love those ones. Fantastic. Well, we're going to be talking to Rory Butcher later on this afternoon, and we've got to have a special offer for our Edinburgh Watch Company followers of a, a reduction in ticket price for the final race of the year up here in uh, Knock Hill on the 4th of October. So that's something definitely to look out for. So all I think all our to be says is really good luck this afternoon. And what's your favourite watch? Uh, an Audemars. An Audemars? Yeah. Uh, Royal Oak, is it? Yeah, Royal Oak, exactly. Cool. I love that one. But you've got something pretty handy on your wrist you just normally wear, haven't you? Yeah, the tour that was gifted to me. Great. So I'm really, I'm really grateful for that. Fantastic watch all around. Thank good. You. Well, listen, good luck, Seb. All the very best. Thank good you. Good luck this afternoon. Thank Take you. care. You. See you later.